All right, uh, the program is still this morning on ITV, on independent television, and a very big thank you to Ifuma Igwe there for that uh, segment, uh, talking about uh, the commissioners and uh, setting agenda as uh, they come into office. Well, uh, uh, also to let you know that uh, we're told that uh, the very first, uh, you know, ESCO meeting uh, in Edo State, talking about uh, this Edo State uh, government now, is, uh, you know, it has started, so to say. So. It goes to show that uh, the executive council, the Edo State Executive Council, is fully, uh, you know, uh, formed. So you have uh, uh, the com some most commissioners. Uh, you have commissioners now in, uh, you know, uh, vital ministries in uh, the in Edo State, and also uh, SSAs too. So it means that uh, the government is is fully formed. So uh, we say and we pray uh, that uh, at the end of the day, uh, the commissioners, as they come on board, and also the SSAs too. Uh, they should be able to contribute to their quota to the development of uh, uh, the state. Well, uh, I did say that uh, we're going to look at, uh, you know, issues of public uh, health uh, policies in Nigeria uh, today. And uh, we understand that uh, sometime in June, uh, there was uh, a campaign against uh, tobacco, you know, that was launched in Nigeria. And uh, this campaign was uh, meant to uh, further educate uh, smokers. Uh, about the dangers inherent in uh, smoking uh, tobacco and also to uh, create the awareness too. Now, the big question is that to what extent has uh, this uh, campaign gone? And uh, you know, in Nigeria, it's always uh, worrisome to know that uh, uh, once you have government, uh, you know, uh, introduce a policy, uh, sometimes it just, uh, you know, go down. And uh, the big question really is that what is really uh, responsible for all this? As we discuss uh, the issue of public health uh, policies in Nigeria today, uh, with our special focus on tobacco, uh, we have a resource person, uh, you know, uh, Charity Ainobe, who uh, is going to be telling us some uh, things that uh, we know and perhaps to further uh, buttress the campaign against uh, tobacco. Uh, in Nigeria. Charity, welcome to this program this morning on ITV. Thank you very yeah. much, Mr. Uh, so, I really don't know where to start from now, but let's just look at uh, the issue of public uh, health uh, policies in Nigeria. Just like what I said, that uh, we have oftentimes government introduces a policy, yes. uh, then somewhere along the line, nobody talks about it. Uh, so, what do you think is really responsible uh, for uh, this? Um, majorly, I believe uh, one of the hindering factors concerning uh, actually executing some of these policies that are enacted comes with having uh, the backing of the populace, the backing of uh, security agencies, and maybe other agencies that may be directly or indirectly involved. Mm -hmm. uh, take for instance now uh, the uh, Clear the Air campaign mm -hmm. backed upon by the Federal Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. Um, though I wouldn't say the campaign has um, been given much media coverage, but uh, so far, so good. At least the present uh, Minister of Health, uh, Professor Isaac mm, Adewole, yeah. has um, gone a step further to send letters across to, I believe, the uh, Inspector General, uh, NDLEA, and I believe other agencies like the head of the civil service to... Uh, for them to come in, collaborate with the Federal Ministry of Health to ensure that the National Tobacco Control Act is actually executed. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you want to execute such an act right now in Nigeria, there's no way you can do without these security agencies. Mm -hmm. They must be brought into play to actually help bring that about. Mm -hmm. And uh, somehow to the cooperation of uh, the citizens too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, tobacco smoking is not just um, the problem of the government or the problem of smokers or secondhand smokers. It's actually a problem, a public health problem that affects everybody. So everybody needs to come in to actually put hands to work, so to speak, and make sure it's actually executed. Take, for instance, uh, the uh, prohibitions, they have the pro provisions, I beg your pardon, yeah. are actually nine. We have nine provisions. The first is the prohibition of sale of tobacco or tobacco products to individuals below the age of 18. You can find, this, you, and I believe you, there, there will be situations whereby persons below the age of 18, they go to a store, 
they want to purchase um, some tobacco products like cigarettes, for instance, mm. and nobody asks for an ID. Mm. They just sell and they collect the money. So these are one of, this is one of the prohibitions that has been put into play. They are not that more specifically that would actually need the contributions of all Nigerians. It's the prohibition of smoking in public places like health facilities, educational facilities, child care centers, stadiums, restaurants, bars, name, to name a few. Mm. This, they will actually need all Nigerians to come together to say no. For instance, if you are in a vehicle, if you are in a bus, for instance, and someone is smoking freely in that bus, you should be bold enough to tell the person, excuse me, please, you can't smoke here. Because the number of uh, smokers that we have as compared to non-smokers mm. is not it's, the same. It's few, yeah? Very few. Actually, in Nigeria, Nigeria right now, we have 4.5 million smokers okay. in Nigeria, according to the Global, um, uh, global Adult Tobacco con uh, Control Survey. Mm. We have 4.5 million adults that are smoking in Nigeria, and out of that 4.5 million, 4.1 are men. They're actually smokers. Mm. So everybody needs to come in. It shouldn't be left to the government alone or the NGOs or the CBUs. Everybody needs to come together to make sure that we fight this to a standstill because the diseases that are brought about by tobacco smoking, yeah. it's, they are enormous. And they have a huge role to play in environmental development, health development, as well as economic development. Mm. Because, yes, tobacco goes a long way to affect smokers and non-smokers, talking about um, cardiovascular diseases, asthma, cancers. But it also affects those who engage in tobacco farming. So if we're able to cut off those who actually engage in tobacco farming, ensure that we redirect them to farming other produces, mm. other cash crops, that give better revenue. You, you discourage them to go into tobacco farming. As such, the tobacco companies can no longer influence them mm. to go into tobacco farming. Mm. All right, let's look at uh, uh, some moves that uh, perhaps some uh, state governments uh, you know, have taken. Take, for example, uh, somewhere like Lagos State, yes. where uh, there is a legislation that um, if you smoke tobacco, cigarettes in the public, uh, you are going to be punished. Yes. Now, what do you think? Um, I know that some states' governments, uh, you know, started it sometime, yeah. but um, it looks as if that uh, the law is more effective in somewhere like Lagos State. So what do you think is Lagos State government doing that uh, perhaps other state governments are not doing, that is really not uh, letting these other states to uh, have the required uh, results as Lagos State is having? Okay. Um, I believe one of the major things that is working in favor for, of the Lagos state government is that the people have seen that their tax is being used very well. They have uh, provisions in place and they can actually see that the government has their interests in mind. Mm. So it doesn't take much effort to solicit and to get their compliance when it comes to certain rules and regulations. And then another thing, the Lagos State Government has been able to carry along some other parastaters, some other agencies along in whatsoever they are doing. And that is key to ensuring that your government works, the ability to ensure you carry everybody along. Even though the majority may buckle at the beginning, but at the long run, they see, they know that, okay, you have the interest of the people at heart. And then everybody wants to join in. Yeah, when, when sure you see other works. other other agencies now, agencies well, I'm talking such as about the uh, the police, okay. the police uh, force. Mm. I'm talking about the NDLEA. Mm. I'm talking about NAVDAC. I'm talking about SON, the Standard Organization of Nigeria. Mm. So these agencies, they are able to carry them along. As such, they are able to enforce a bit a bit better than other states would do. Mm. But I believe Edo State is in the right track. Mm. Um, we currently have uh, a governor in the person of uh, uh, Governor Obaseki. Yeah. So I believe he's, I see him as an intellectual, somebody who is business savvy. Mm. So I believe um, in due course, we should be able to, we will be seeing uh, good changes in okay. other states that would actually also put us in the forefront of uh, states who are actually doing very well in Nigeria. Okay. Now, recently, we understand that uh, the bill that uh, will further prohibit uh, smoking in the public yes. has gone through uh, the second reading on the floor of uh, the National Assembly. Yes. Now, um, allegations are that 
at times uh, some of this tobacco uh, making uh, you know uh, uh, firms yes. or some of these uh, companies. tobacco uh, companies making co uh, companies are really owned uh, by the elites uh, you know at times uh, some say that uh, they are owned by members of some members of the national assembly now now that you have this situation how do you think that that bill uh, is, going, is going to sail through um, that, this is where I believe the opinion of Nigerians coming. Uh, the government is for the people, not for a few. So I believe if we are able to actually come up, speak, we shouldn't be uh, close-mounted about it. This is a campaign, clearly a campaign that is already on. Mm. So Nigerians should not sit and wait for some few persons in the government to actually push the campaign for them. They should key into it, no matter how, whether you are in a shop or you are in an, off, in an office, key into the campaign in your own small sphere. Well, well, most Nigerians sure are perhaps not even can. aware of the campaign. I, I believe so. I mm. believe so. Um, I, I can't say for sure why the campaign isn't getting as much media coverage as it should, but as uh, someone who wants to really work in the field of health promotion, mm. I took the pain to de and decided to actually key into it when I saw it. Mm. I keyed into it and decided to work from there. Mm. So if each and every other person who has the interest, the, basically the health interest of Nigerians at heart, it's no big deal. You can key into it and do the little you can. For instance, uh, someone who runs a company, you can have a prohibition of no smoking in that environment, and mm. it's binding to every person, every personnel mm. in that company. So in your only two way, contribute as much as you can. To You're also shop. campaigning against yes, tobacco against, smoking. Yes, yeah. everybody should do that. Mm. It's, it's something that goes far beyond more than, more than just um, smoking a cigarette and then getting diseases and then secondhand smoker also being uh, affected by certain diseases associated with tobacco smoking. It goes far beyond that. Take, for instance, um, the, uh, the tobacco product, cigarette, for yeah, instance, yeah. it's liters. Mm. And some of the chemical substances in this uh, cigarette, when it leaches into aquatic bodies, they are toxic. So in other words, it can lead to uh, uh, adverse effects effect, on yeah. our bowel uh, uh, ecosystem. Mm. Not just that alone, even the, the process of tobacco farming is a complicated process. From the, from the farming, it involves use of um, some pesticides, some uh, chemical fertilizers that go a long way to affecting our environment. Not to talk of the uh, green disease for, t um, for tobacco farming that affects the farmers. Mm. So any which way you look at it, tobacco, the production, the consumption, it's it's very bad. It's, now, don't, don't, no don't you think that uh, there are uh, somehow advantages in uh, the farming of tobacco? I mean, some still believe that um, uh, tobacco uh, can be used to uh, control reptiles. I mean, the dried, uh, you know, leaves of tobacco plants uh, that you can use it to control reptiles. Is that other, true? There are other things we can use mm, <laughs> to control reptiles. Outside that, yes, I don't believe um, just because tobacco can help in controlling reptiles, we should now hold on to it. This is something that causes more harm than good. Mm. So we should, for me, we should totally do away with it. I'm talking about um, leaving the tobacco farmers without a job. Yeah. The other farm produce they can buy into. Talking about the uh, orange flesh potato, which mm. is uh, a produce that has that uh, has been, uh, should I say, bio enhanced mm. to contain some of the nutrients needed by humans because mm. one of the one of other public health issues we are suffering in Africa talking about the hidden hunger when people are deficient of some certain trace elements trace nutrients in the body, in the body. Yeah. so we can edu first of all is education you educate these farmers this produce is far better for you it will give you far more gains than tobacco the, the process involved in tobacco farming sometimes when the company comes in, the agent comes in to purchase the tobacco product for them, the agent that serves as the middleman mm. can, at his own prerogative, mm. 
decide, okay, uh, the company gave me, for instance, five dollars to purchase this, but I want to buy it two dollars, mm. take it or leave it. Mm. So the tobacco farmers are at their mercy. Okay. They can't negotiate for themselves. Mm. But if you are farming, making use, your farming involves other cash crops, other produce, you are able to sit back, relax, sell. If this person doesn't um, bargain well with you, another person comes and you sell. So you are at liberty. You have, free, you have that right to decide, this is how I want to market my produce. But believe you me, majority of those farmers, the, the gains they get from these products is not worth it. It's well, worth it. I, I don't know how, uh, because uh, we still have issues that surround uh, farming of uh, uh, the cannabis, uh, you know, yes. the, uh, what they call it, marijuana and all that. Uh, and a lot of people, a lot of farmers in this uh, field still believe that there's so much money in, in it. So I wonder if this campaign is also, you know, that too. And also, uh, because when we talk about campaign against uh, a tobacco now, from all that we have said here, the attention seems to be on cigarettes alone. Okay. Uh, what about the snuff, the popular snuff that yes. uh, some of our parents in the village, the city take and okay. all that? Is those, the campaign still on it too? Yeah, those are also tobacco products. Okay. So they fall within, because if you go the National Tobacco Control Act, mm. uh, if you download it online, the PDF document is actually a 32-page document. Okay. So if you go through it, you'll find areas talking about tobacco and tobacco products. Mm. So as far as it relates to tobacco itself being used, it's prohibited. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, as we uh, make preparations to uh, round up now so that uh, we can see other segments on this uh, program, are there things that we really need to know? You know, I mean, outside the common ones that we know that if you take uh, tobacco, you are liable to uh, having tuberculosis and all that. Uh, because this period of the year now, uh, some smokers believe that, oh, this is the best time of the year because of the, of the, of the cold yes. uh, temperature and all that. So you wake up, you take uh, your stick of cigarettes, you're off to go. Mm. Yeah, so are there things that uh, they need to know? Yes. Dangers? Yes, uh, dangers. There are dangers involved. Mm. For every one person mm. that dies because he or she is a smoker, mm. 30 other persons are in danger. They are exposed to other uh, smoke, to, uh, related tobacco smoking diseases, related yeah. diseases. Yeah. So if, if you are a smoker, I'm talking to everybody out, out there right now, mm. if you are a smoker, have it at the back of your mind that as you are consuming whatever tobacco product you are consuming, you are putting 30 other persons in danger. It could be, it could be your friend, it could be a sister, it could be a brother, it could be mother or father. So having that at the back of your mind, even if you don't care about your own health, think about the health of others Yeah, I, I must ask you this question before we go, Charity. Uh, before now, we used to see advertisements on television and at times we hear them on radio that uh, smokers are liable uh, to die young. Now, we're talking about uh, you know, public health uh, policies, uh, you know, with special reference to, uh, to, 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 to tobacco. So don't you think that um, I mean, if governments or authorities are to be sincere yes. on some of these campaigns against tobacco, you know, sometimes it should be an outright, uh, you know, statement yes. like don't take tobacco. Don't you think so? Yes, mm -hmm. I think so. But um, one thing you have to bear in mind that um, it's a work in progress. Okay. And I think this particular government are, are in the right track. Mm. I believe so. Mm. Because the National Tobacco Control Act was actually uh, done in the government of our, our former president, mm. President uh, uh, Goodluck, Good Jonathan, Jonathan, yeah. 2015. Mm. But it's, now it's been uh, the, this government is trying to make sure it's being implemented. Yeah. So I think this government is in the right track. Mm. And with time, we we'll get to a, a level where nobody would even engage in smoking or even think of getting any, any tobacco products. Okay. All right. Uh, as uh, the campaign goes on, uh, the uh, thing is that all of us all we must key in because uh, this campaign is really not for government agencies alone. It exactly. is for uh, tobacco intending to, uh, tobacco farmers and also uh, most especially our young ones smokers, in schools. Smokers, secondhand yeah. smokers, yeah. students. Who are the secondhand well. smokers? The secondhand smokers are those who don't really smoke, okay. but they are exposed to the tobacco smoke from those who smoke. Mm. They are the secondhand right. smokers. All right. So uh, sometime in June this year, the campaign was launched yes. and. Uh, we expect that um, uh, everybody must key in, should key in 
uh, so that uh, we we'll make sure that uh, the issue of tobacco and its dangerous uh, things of, of the past. Is key. Okay. All right, Charity, thank you so thank much, you much uh, for spending time to come on thank the program today. We'll take a short pause now and uh, we'll join uh, Neville Obahedu and also Dr. Osahon Amayo. Let's uh, look at uh, you know, issues on national issues. Uh, talking about uh, the feud uh, between the National Assembly and uh, the, the executive statute.